So one of the things you're gonna find in real estate that you only live in three states, and I'm not thinking about the states that you live in, Queensland, New South Wales, or territories. I'm talking about three levels of state that we live within ourselves. And the three states that I always talk about is, one of them is like the state of need. I need a listing, I need a sale, I need market appraisals, I need to be going on more appointments. The second state that you actually live in is what we call the state of want. I'm doing okay, but I want more appraisals or I want more listings or I want more sales. And the third state, which is the highest level of performance that we can all live in is what we call the state of no. And an agent just recently joined the industry and uh, he said to me, he goes, Claudia, how do you ever get to that highest level that you mentioned, the state of no? And I said, well, it's something a little bit like this. When you started in real estate, doesn't matter if you've been in the game for 10 years or you've just joined the industry like this gentleman has, one of the things that you're going to find out is when you start, I remember Dr. Joe Dispenza talking about that. When you have a, a sort of a vision or a future about yourself, like a philosophy, like where you see yourself, there is a certain thing that you have that attracts you to wanting to get to that direction. Now, obviously, there's a whole bunch of behaviors that we all do. If I remember when I started in real estate back in, yes, a long time ago, 1995, I remember when I was first going out doing a whole bunch of cold calling and a whole bunch of door knocks in the afternoon. One of the things that I started to understand as I was, I was doing all this was, you know, there was a level of fear that came. But, you know, when we understand what's behind fear, there's always courage. And, you know, sometimes when I would not want to do the door knocks because I just wasn't mentally prepared or I didn't feel like getting off my seat and going to do it, there was also this level of pain that I was associating myself with door knocking. But what's on the other side of pain was freedom. And I suppose that once you start to get into this level of rhythm where you become consistent on a daily level, like for example, doing your calls every day or doing the door knocks like I did for a number of months, I found that within six months, it really became innate of me, it became like part of me. It was like part of my DNA. And it was almost getting to the point that if I didn't make my calls in the morning or I didn't do a door knocking session in the afternoon, I just found, I found myself being absolutely sick. And the reason I was sick is because I just knew that every time I would do it, there would be these bursts of energy that I would receive. Like I would book an appraisal or if I got on the calls and did those call sessions, you know, there was a listing appointment that I, I generated. And then that listing appointment became a listing, which then became a sale. There was these little bursts of energy. And the mind was, was starting to work out and understand from all these teachings and learnings from, yes, learning different scripts and dialogues and having a great coach at the time like I did by the gentleman of Bob Boland. It was really important to understand exactly how to get myself into that level of state. So when I first started, I was in that state of need, a state of, I need more appointments or I need more uh, pipeline. And then I got to a place of state of want and I was doing okay, but I wanted more. But then it just came so like part of me where I just started to book one appraisal, two appraisals per day. And it just almost became so easy, it became, as Dr. Joe would call it, like a, a level of supernatural within you. Yeah, it just, it just like automatically, it would just happen. And as I, I began to do this, there was one thing that you start to develop, and it's called a center of excellence. And we all have that center of excellence where we feel like we play above the line and we play below the line. If you're finding yourself like completely inconsistent now, it's because you haven't found that third level, physiology, you know, you innate these behaviors, right? And it doesn't matter what's going on in the environment. There could be no listings in the market, but you're just out there doing the same thing every day. Or if things aren't going great at home and I've had a quarrel with my wife and I've come to work that morning and, you know, I've had to get on with my call, I just do it. I wasn't affected by the environment. And what happens is once you innate, you get to a level of what we call mastery. And that's your center of excellence. But a lot of agents in the marketplace who have been in the game for 10 years and sometimes more are still inconsistent and they haven't developed what we call a thing called mastery. And I relate it back to, you've heard me say it, green light behaviors, accurate thinking, deliberate decisions followed by disciplined action. Because every day there are things that are compounding and it could be that red line behavior, which is 
pretty much like distractions, poor habits, and lack of discipline. And when you reach that level of mastery, you just know within you that you just know how to get one appraisal, which is called the state of now. I just know how to get an appraisal. I know how to get another three potential listings into my pipeline. No matter what's happening in the background or in our environment, you just become a master. And then once you get to this level of mastery, that's the real game. And that is the end game, where you walk with a level of confidence within you because you're pushing yourself every time to get out of one thing, get out of your comfort zone. And the more the brain understands how to pull itself out of the comfort zone, the more you're open to going through pain because you've experienced it so many times that you know there's freedom. That you know that when you want to do something that you've never done before and there's a level of fear, but when you've taken steps of courage previously in your life, it becomes like supernatural. So my question to you is, have you reached mastery yet? If you haven't, and you're still inconsistent with some of the behaviors that you do, no matter what's happening behind you in the behavior, in the environment, well, now is your time to level it up and play above the line.